Welcome to Nerd on Nerd with me, Jack Kempster. And me, Liam Underwood. And in this episode, we are going to be talking about the first three episodes of season one of Twin Peaks. Or are we? No, we are. Oh. That's that's the bit that comes later in the show. Got you. The bit that's called Culture Swap. I understand. You do realise, like, we've done over 30 episodes now. You know how this show works, right? Like, vaguely, I sort of, I get So it. what comes next, Jack? What comes next? It's your favourite part of the show. Yeah? Catching up with Liam and Jack. Catching up with Jack and Liam. Close enough. Consistency. No, it's good, because, well, your name always comes first, doesn't it? Yeah, it just sounds better that way, doesn't it? Jack and Liam. Alphabetical, isn't it? Say Liam and Jack. Say it, Liam. Liam and Jack. Liam and Jack. Sitting in a tree. It doesn't... Well... Well... What? What have you been up to, Liam? I've got good news for you, Jack. Go on. You were talking to the Cine World Unlimited Fan of the Month, so... Oh. My. God. I don't want to toot my own horn, but it's sort of like you're talking to a kind of, um, minor celebrity, really. Now I've seen, Liam, I've seen their announcement, because, you know, I keep track of the Cine World news, obviously. Obviously. Big fan. Such a big deal. Uh, Shout out. I've seen the announcement, and... You also let me see what you were sending into him beforehand as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I gave you like a little sneak peek. Yeah. I I have a question. How much of it, Liam, is real? How much of what? The character that you've portrayed for what Cinema. Character? What you want about I'm, character? I'm giving you a helpful out, Liam, because, dear God, I hope it's a character. What character? Well, let's just say, you know, I've, I've been your friend for quite a while, Liam. We've done a podcast together for also quite a Over while. Over a year. Over a yeah, year. Yeah. Yeah, that's impressive. Uh, and, you know, we're not the most positive people. What? I am. I don't think you are. Yes, uh, and the, I am. And the, the, the character that you've portrayed in this I Am Your Biggest Fan competition. For it's not month. I Am Your Biggest Fan. Whatever, mate. I Am City World's enough. Unlimited Fan of the Month. It's not that I'm their biggest fan. It's that I'm their most important fan. You know what? The, the, oh, they haven't actually posted what you sent in. Yeah, they have. Just the picture. No, 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 no. Oh, wait. If if wait, if you go to that, there's a link. Oh, if I go to the link. Yeah, the link takes you to um, my... Uh, it's not yes, like it an does. application. It's like a little... Um, how how yep. to describe it to people that aren't currently looking at the screens we're looking at. Oh, I, oh, oh but it's just, a, it's just a list of questions that they asked you and you had to provide answers for. Yeah, 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 exactly. So I'll, I'll read out a couple, I think, <laughs> just so people can... And I'll do it in the voice that uh, I read these in. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Which Cinna world do you visit the most? Chichester is my cinema world of choice. I moved earlier this year and making sure I was nearby was a top priority. Went from a 20 minute drive to just 5 minutes. So now I can get my Cinefix, Cinefix in a jiffy. Yeah. That doesn't sound like you, Liam. Yeah, it does. I, I love getting my Cinefix on in a jiffy. Look, uh, Jack, 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 you know me. You know I'm not, I'm not the sort of person that likes to faff around with things. I don't like faff. I like to get there, get the job done, get out. Cat's a very lucky lady. <laughs> she is. Jesus. So, uh, do, you, do you keep your tickets? If so, how many do you have? Well, why are we skipping to question number six? Come I'm on. I'm trying to find the ones where you sound ridiculous. Well, uh, so, so, so are we skipping two, three, four, and five? All right, I fine. Let's go ridiculous. for them. All right. Okay. All right, you ask this. the questions. Yeah. Right. You ask the questions, yeah. starting at number two, and yeah. I will read your answer in the voice that I have assigned this character. Which is just me. Number two, what's your favourite film of all time? I imagine picking a favourite film of all time would be an impossible task if Die Hard didn't exist. Thankfully it does. Not only my favourite Christmas movie of all time, but my favourite movie ever. That's a good point. I mean... Now, I I know that you think this is a character, but I think this is someone who speaks solid sense. No, no, so here's the thing. It's not yeah. a character in that you lied. None of this is lies, Liam. No. This is all true. Yeah. But I don't think that this is how you would talk. If someone on the street said to you, what's your favourite film of all time? You would say Die Hard. That's true. Yeah, I don't course. think you'd talk of like course. this. But, like, for something like this, you don't just give, like, short, curt responses. You embellish a little. You kind of, um, you give it some pizzazz. You jazz it up, you know? That's true. That's true, Liam. I do get what you're saying. Uh, I do have one, just one, one sort of counterpoint to that. Yeah. And that would be the photo. Oh, my dog is freaking out. Get to the photo. We can talk about the photo once we've got through the questions. All right. Hit me with number three. Why did you decide to join Cineworld Unlimited? Financially, it just made sense. 
As I noticed my visits to the cinema were increasing, my bank funds were decreasing. But a Cineworld Unlimited card soon put a stop to dreading my bank statement arriving. Now I can be at the cinema whenever I have the time, and have spare cash to splash on popcorn and tango ice blasts. That's quite a nice little bit of wordplay there, isn't it? Yeah, sure. I mean, no, it's not. Number four. Do you have an unlimited buddy you go to the cinema with? It was my partner's birthday a couple of months ago, so I treated her to a ve- to her very own Cineworld Unlimited card. True story. Now I can get my film fixes and tick off date night simultaneously. We also recently met another couple who frequent the fine Chichester establishment, and hopefully our little film family will continue to grow. Because if there's one thing I love to do when I'm not in the cinema... It's talking about what I just saw at the cinema. Now, how I does that hate not this sound person. like me? I hate him. I hate him. Yeah, but but you realise that, like... So, one, that that is what I got Kat for her birthday. And two, we have a podcast where there's a whole section called Liam went to the cinema and this is what he saw at the cinema. No, I think you're misunderstanding, Liam. What I hate about this guy is not what he's doing. That's fine, because that is what you do, and I don't care that you do it. What I don't like about this guy is the voice that I have assigned him. Right, so like, it's, I cannot it's read own, it like, any um... other way. Yeah, but that isn't that can't be read. You can't read that as like it's not just you. You what would you never say. You yeah. would never say. And this, you can argue with me if you want, but you know this is true. You would never say. Now I can get my film fixes and tick off date night simultaneously. You have never once cared about ticking off date night. <laughs> You're right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Let's 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 just let's so, to be fair. Let's reverse it, and I'll answer in my voice. All right, for the you next okay? Two. Okay. All right. So, am I doing the next question? Yeah. How many films do you think you have seen so far this year? It's only January, so the year is young. But so far, I have seen six films. If we factor in the past twelve months, then that number rockets up to sixty. See, that sounds like me. You've picked a very standard question, though. <laughs> so I'm going to keep asking you them. Because I think we do get to one that you might not be able to pull that off on. Okay. Do you keep your tickets? If so, how many do you have? Alas, I am all about booking my tickets online and getting the QR code scanned. I'm sure I still have the ticket confirmation email somewhere, but that's not quite the same. Who says alas? I do. It's a good word. I type alas. I type alas. I've, and this I was a, ever this was a form alas. that I typed. It wasn't like a verbal interview they gave me over the phone that they transcribed. Yeah, but that's how people read it, Liam. Well, they'll read me typing. What's your favourite must-have cinema snack? A sweet popcorn to be rapidly... <laughs> uh, no, that is not how you wrote any of this to be read. And you know it. And a tango ice blast. Blue and yellow colours, please. No, don't, you're trying to make it normal. It is normal. Not, no, it what, no, what's happened is you've assigned this ridiculous consumed. voice. <laughs> well, all that's happened, you've assigned in your head a ridiculous voice and then because created the this picture. character that you hate. This, this picture does not have a normal voice. That's very true. But, you know, that's, that's part of the beauty of my face. All right, let's, we may as well. We've got there, Liam. We're at the end of the questions. Number eight. <laughs> What do you love most about being an unlimited member? Do you want to do it in your voice? or should No, I, I want mine? you to try and read this in a normal voice. Fuck. Okay. I love being able to go and see as many films as I want and see in the films I love. <laughs> you can do times. it. You, you started doing a silly voice. Well, that's my normal voice. No, it isn't. You went, I love being able to go and see as many films as I want. <laughs> well, I do. Carry on. And see in the films I love multiple times, like La La Land. The unlimited screenings are also fantastic. I love getting to see films early with other film fans who generally exhibit proper cinema etiquette and there's also a thrill of excitement in the air during these screenings. And I love getting 10%, soon to be 25%, off my snacks. What's not to love about being an unlimited member? No, Liam. What do you mean, no? No. That one is full of lies. (laughs) No, it's not full of lies. I love getting to see films early with other film fans. Bullshit. <laughs> well, I love getting to see films early. So that's one true. of the things that I wasn't sure if, if it would make the cut, if you will, is the bit where it says who generally exhibit proper cinematic care. Because that's, that's a little dig there that I'm getting in because some of these people don't. Yeah, I like, imagine there are people reading this who just hate you after reading that. Yeah, you. True. Yeah. <laughs> I hated I mean, you a little bit before. Yeah, and I don't really care, to be honest, because no, guess no. what? I got, I, I got a £100 gift card, and I'm uh, February's Cineworld Unlimited fan of the month, so stick that on the CV. 
I, I noticed as well. Oh, was it the fa- you sent me the Facebook link before? Oh, I don't have the comments. Oh, I can get get those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got those up. Yeah, what about it? Can you please read the one? There yeah. was someone who was so upset that it wasn't them. Uh, they were like, you never like pick. That. You never pick old members. Oh, there's I mean, been by a, now, there's Liam, been it's, a, um, it's top been news. There's been a couple of um, new comments since I last uh, checked. Are they full of hate? I mean, so, okay, there was one. Uh, I think the one that you referenced. Uh, my husband has seen over 100 films last year. How, how can I put him forward for the unlimited fan of the month? Was it that one? No, see, that one wasn't too bad, because you could read that one not like that. She's just like, oh, my, hu- my husband's been to see 100 films. There was what, I think it was just after that one, if I remember rightly, or just before. The one that says, it seems to me that each month, Cineworld Cinemas completely overlook the people who have been loyal to your brand for many years. Yes, that one. <laughs> what do you get for winning? A £100 gift card, and you get to say, I'm Cine World's Unlimited Fan of the Month. Yeah, well, that first bit's quite cool. <laughs> um, the, the thing is, so Cine World responded to them saying, uh, Hi, name. To be considered for Unlimited Fan of the Month, we do ask people to use the hashtag, hashtag Cine World Unlimited, uh, when they are talking about the films they are seeing, or a favourite experience at their local Cine World. And then the person responded, It's nothing to do with me, but in all honesty, when the people you are rewarding see so few films yet you know full well there are others who have been with you for a decade and see double that amount, it seems unfair to say the least. Now, bearing in mind, I saw 60 films in the cinema last year. Yeah, is she saying that she's seen 120 films in a decade? I, d- I don't because really know what she's saying. That's 12 a year. That's not that. That's one a month. I mean, there's, there's other comments I've read that were like, oh, 60, that's nothing. I saw 150. And I'm like, look, I'm sorry, sweetheart. But I have D&D to do. I have other things going on in my life. Call of Cthulhu. I co-host a podcast. You know, it can't be all Cine World all day, every day. No, that's that's fair. That is fair. But that's also insane. Like, because that's too many, what you've seen. That's too is many it? films. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest, yeah. it's Because there's no, like, there's no way there's 60 good films in a year that are actually worth seeing in the cinema. No, yeah, exactly. That, like, they just aren't. So you, you're seeing, what, there must be, like, how many good films come out a year, Liam, sort of, do you reckon? Estimate. I genuinely, like, for me, so if I was to rate a film good, okay, I would say it has to get, like, four stars or above. Yeah, yeah. And in 2016, there was maybe five films that I gave four stars or above. Yeah, so that's that's a horribly low ratio. So I reckon, I reckon, let's be generous, I reckon five to ten. That's still, that's one in six films that is good. Yes, so that's already that's so that's why I say too many that because that's a crazy ratio, right? Yeah. But if people no, are seeing or you know double that and more, oh, like exactly. what are they doing? What films are they seeing? I honestly, I, I I don't know. I think the the issue is some people just can't be happy when other people um when when fate smiles favorably on other people. I think my favorite but, comment which I'm seeing on Twitter is uh, from friend of the show Dan Palmer. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Who tweeted, at Cineworld, at Liam Underwood. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> Which, if people knew he knew you, that would be funny. <laughs> but yeah. um, I imagine a lot of people seeing that are just like, wow, this this Dan guy's kind of a dickhead. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, I, I don't have Instagram, but someone on Twitter very kindly sent me a screenshot of, of a comment on the Instagram post. Which oh, yeah? just said, 60, question mark, question mark. That's nothing. That's insane. Who are these people? I mean, to be honest, it sounds like you might not have deserved this. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't come down to who deserves it. It comes down to I fucking got it. Stick it in your pipe and fuck off. I mean, I I genuinely think that the only reason you won it is because of the photo you sent in. Because I think someone in Cineworld's like, team that picks the winner saw that and went, I need to put that on the internet. My favourite thing, Liam, is that people are trying to turn it into a meme. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a thing that came up on Facebook. Yeah, like nothing to do with us. Just some guy is trying to make it a meme. And honestly, if he's out there and he has, if he ever listens to this, go back and make it a meme because it would be hilarious. Yeah, because he's, he's basically taken my, um, my picture and he's, he's done a little comment underneath it, hasn't he? Yeah. Where uh, I'm just trying to find what that comment is now. When you are 10 minutes into cinema and chill and he gives you this look and then he, he's cut out like my, my like a little square of the picture of where my face is. Liam, can we please tweet that image after this show goes live so that uh, people can see it? I mean, w- w- why not? Why, why don't we do one better and we'll share 
the Twitter post on our Nerd on Nerd Twitter account. So they, oh, that's true. We should do that. So yeah. not only can they see the image, but they'll be able to see the blog post as well. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Yeah, I'm a genius. So Me- yeah, that, that and also um, the only other thing I've been up to lately is um, I managed to nab myself some tickets to see Hamilton in London when that comes. Um, I think it is. It's going to start showing in November time. It was really hard to get tickets, so I could only get them for like April next year. Yeah, yeah. But I had a look I mean, after you told me, and it was you know, I think there was still some in the month that you'd booked. Oh no, it was the month after yeah. your your month was now full. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, that's Valentine's Day sorted. <laughs> like a year away. Yeah, I know. But, sure Th- but this, this is the year, issue, Liam. This is the, the hole that you dig yourself because you did this before with the Harry Potter uh, play. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you then end up with one year where suddenly cats get in that present. Yeah. And something else. And then what are you going to do in the gaps in between? Like, what are you going to do this year? I mean, you obviously can't say because Cat's a regular listener. Yeah, exactly. So you have to wait and see. Is it going to be, is it something big, Liam? I imagine it is. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you saying yeah? <laughs> Why are you saying yes? <laughs> um, yeah, no. So like, it, well, okay, here we go. It was our anniversary recently. I guess I should probably mention that because that is something else that happened in the last two weeks. Yeah, but you were um, seen a world uh, unlimited member of the month, Liam. <laughs> How can anything yeah. compete? <laughs> exactly. I mean, we're going through order of importance. Cineworld Unlimited Fan of the Month, Hamilton tickets, seven year anniversary of Cat. So Jesus. I know, Jesus, seven years. No, right? I would say Jesus to the fact that she that she's last on your list. <laughs> Not that you've been dating for seven years. Well um so for example, so for the seven year anniversary, because I lavish her with such wonderful treats on other occasions when I like have inspiration yeah. and come up with these great ideas, I just got a um like a couple of things off her Amazon wish list, to be honest. Were they good things? I don't think so, but she seemed happy enough with them, so it don't matter, fair, does it? Fair enough. Like she's getting into this thing called Deco Patch. Do you know what that is? No, I have no. What is it? Oh, it's oh, like okay. So she's probably going to listen. So I, I, I can't sound too judgmental. Uh, it's this wonderful thing where um, you get like I don't know, like a little. Uh, how to describe it? Like a little model dinosaur or something, right? It's like okay. modeled out of like fancy cardboard or some shit, right? Like a 3D... Imagine like a 3D cardboard dinosaur, yeah? Yeah, I got it. Picturing it in my head, yeah. And then you like cut up pieces of paper and you you put those pieces of paper over the dinosaur and you, you like glue it down. Why? Don't know, mate. Really don't Wait, know. But, you know... You stick it, it onto the dinosaur and it keeps its shape, I assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, cool. Okay, well, that makes more sense. In my head, I was picturing you just like cutting up a bit of paper and then hiding the dinosaur under it. Like no, no, ghost, no it's, it's a quite a big, sheet. it's quite a big dinosaur, and it, yeah, so it, it's like you're, you're like, it's kind of like colouring it in, but with, with like, yeah, it's like paper. adding decoration to that. Model, yeah, sort yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, she did a dinosaur recently, and she wanted like a little um, tray so she could do that on. So that's what she got. So you know, it's, it's not like Hamilton tickets. No, yeah, not quite. So it's very up and down. My, my gift giving. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I don't like set a benchmark and then try and top it. No, that's true. I mean, Cat at this point is used to dating you. You'd hope so. so I right? guess she's given up. I guess quite early on, probably Cat gave up on expecting anything good. Um, Just in any in any aspect. Yeah, I, I would hope so. <laughs> but what have you been up to, Jack? Well, Liam, I have been doing stuff. Oh, okay. That sounds like fun. Yeah. 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 Good. Good times. Played any of those uh, video games that you enjoy? Yeah, played some video games. Which ones? Oh, I started playing Last Guardian. There you go. Was that any good? Yeah, I've not been hooked on it yet because I got to a bit and got stuck quite quickly. <laughs> I heard the controls take some getting used to. Yeah, the controls are a bit weird. Like getting the animal to move is kind of yeah. odd. Okay, but it's like it seems cool. Like I'm enjoying it. Well, that's good. Uh, read a couple of mangas, Liam. Oh, yeah, any more Berserk? No more Berserk. I started reading Dead Man Wonderland, which is a series that I really liked. So I picked up the first three volumes of the manga. That's quite good. Yeah. I've bought Death Note, the black edition, which looks cool as shit, which I haven't read yet. I've I've read Death Note before. Yeah, that's the edi- uh, edition that I have. It's cool. It is cool. Yes, you're correct. Like the edges I, of the I remember, are back. Um, yeah, when I when I first read Death Note, it was just after I finished reading, uh, not reading, watching Breaking Bad. Oh, okay. And it's interesting the comparisons you can make between the two because it's essentially like characters being put in like morally dubious positions. Yeah, sure. Yeah, all right. Oh, I'm Jack. I'm too cool for Breaking Bad. Ooh. I don't think I'm too cool for Breaking Bad. I just didn't like it. Yeah, because you're just so cool. Not, I don't think it's because I'm Liam. I think if there's one thing I'm not, it's cool. I mean, you said it. Yeah, I yeah. happily admit it. Yeah. I don't think the listeners thought I was cool. 
Well, not anymore, no. You've ruined that We image. host a show called Nerd on Nerd. Yeah. All right, okay. Well, that's mainly it. Nothing else much. The thing is, I've spoken like 20 minutes about what I did this week. So you've done like two minutes. So now it just sounds like I'm fucking... Oh, it's all about I mean, Liam. one of your things was you entered a contest and won. Yeah, I know, but like, let's try and like... Your sense... other thing was I've booked tickets. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is let's not have this, this section be like the Liam section... Let's get a bit well, maybe of you should do well. less shit, Liam. Well, you were. You, maybe you should do more. All right. Well, uh, I've got something we can talk about then, Liam. Yeah. This weekend. Oh yeah. It's the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. And uh, what are you doing for the Super Bowl? Coming down yours. Hey, you're going to see my new house. Yeah, I'm so excited. Uh, I wouldn't be. I don't like it. Remember. It's not Where really am I going to sleep? Do you have a spare room anymore? Yeah, you're going to sleep oh, in my right. office room. Oh, how exciting! So what you could do is, like, you could film a little video of you with the green screen behind you, like, laying in bed, and then we could make it look like you're, like, in bed flying and shit. I'm very up for that. Yeah. So, you know, there's things we could do. We're going to maybe have a guy filming some videos, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to try. Um, let's not promise anything in case nope, it goes wrong. Cause exactly. We've, we've done that in the past, and it went horribly wrong, and we never did anything with the footage. So no promises. Well, yeah, that's true. But the, the important thing is the Super Bowl. Yeah, boy. I mean, Seahawks he, Seahawks aren't in it, so no. But but the old um, the New England Patriots, who I was a big fan of last year, you maybe, weren't a big uh, fan of Liam. You, uh, I you picked them, them because I picked Seahawks. Yeah, it's pathetic. The reason you pick a team, no, it's because it's more interesting if we're not all rooting. It's for not the same though. Team. It's not because you don't know what's going on anyway. I have a rough idea. Yeah, you sort of vaguely know. Yeah, whereas I do know now. Yeah, 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 and and last year I won. No, last year the Patriots won. Yeah, but if if you never notice, like with team sports, like yeah, no, no. See, now the way team sports usually work, Liam, like this sort of thing is you pick a team and you follow it, and yes. then you win. Yes, what that's you what I haven't did. done any time you've watched American football is pick a team and follow it. I picked the Patriots last year, and now I'm picking them again. This How have year. they been playing this season, Liam? Well enough to get into the Super Bowl. Yeah, how well? I would imagine in the top two. <laughs> What are you worrying about, about the Falcons? The Falcons? Yeah. They have a tight defence. N- no, they have a very good offence. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not worried about their offence, that's the thing. No, you definitely should be. I, no, I'm not. I think I think the New England Patriots, I think their defence is going to be w- notable. <laughs> okay, fair enough. It's going to be it's gonna be something to talk about. So yeah, we're having our traditional Super Bowl party. Yeah, we'll, we'll have the chili, word. we'll have wings, there'll be alcohol. Cool. We're going to be up late. I've got some new whiskey for us to try. Oh, cool. What one? So, uh, Maker's Mark. Oh, I've had that before. It's decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like top I, shelf whiskey, Liam. I know. I've never had that one mixed. I always have it straight. I've started drinking whiskey straight now, Jack. I prefer it mixed. Yeah, well, I'm not a little girl like you, so... Well. Um, done? Next? 